All right, guys, you don't want to miss this. It's probably the hardest thing in conversation. How to end a conversation. Yeah, that's right, how to end one. Stay tuned. Introverted intellect, helping you overcome shyness, social anxiety, depression, and utilizing the power of being an introvert. Welcome to John John back, 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 back. Introverted Intellect, a podcast for introverts. I think, no, no, I know literally the most difficult thing about conversations is how to end one. Today, I'm going to give you guys real quick tips about how to end a conversation with somebody. All right, here's four, I believe I did four, four practical points, right? Conversation can be tough, you know? Starting one is, is hard enough, but ending one, oh my goodness, the awkwardness. I think the awkward, most awkward conversation, like usually, for, usually these days I'd just be like, all right, okay, like I would hear that a lot with people, like all right, my girlfriend would always do that. She'd be like, all right, well, okay. Like I did the same thing. It's like, oh, it's like, I don't, if I don't follow these these tips I'm going to share with you right now, it's usually ends like, it always, it always ends like that. It always ends really awkwardly. I still do it and I need to realize I always come back to these tips when I forget, right? So here's the first one. First is having a clear purpose. Now, you have to have an agenda what you're trying to accomplish. So here's some questions you can ask yourself going into the conversation. What goal do you have in the conversation? What is it that you want to get out of the Got, what do you want to get out of it? Or are you asking for something? Are you interested in how their day is going? And once you got what you wanted, you just move on. For example, like say I would go, hey, Joe, can I get that report from you about 3 p.m. today? Great. Thanks, man. That's it. That's the end of the conversation. You ask for what you want. That's what I do a lot with my coworkers. I ask for what I want, and then I move on. I'm out. I'm gone, guys. Like, that's all I need from you, and I'm leaving the premises of where you are sitting because I no longer want to conversate at all. This is a very common thing that I do because I know, especially in the workplace, I have clear purposes. Like, you know, if I want to know how your day is going, I'm just going to walk over there and just kind of sit and just kind of ask them. So it's kind of different, you know, but versus me walking over there really quickly so that I can ask them a question and leave. You know, it's really easy. And I think a lot of you guys, you don't have to th overthink this, right? You don't have to be like, I need to small talk with them. You know, you can just go there, ask them and leave. Because um, they're busy too. I mean, they're not ready. They're not mentally prepared oftentimes for a small talk conversation unless they are some kind of extrovert or wanting to talk to you. Moving on to point number two. Wait, this is my favorite, by the way. Wait for the, for the lull, the LOL aka the laugh out loud right when you're leaving with a high note you leave a good impression on the conversation it's actually really easy uh to leave that is during a laugh it's not easy to make a laugh all the time but it's easy to leave and separate and end the conversation when you're laughing so there's no that there's no awkward okay then okay all right well bye then like instead you have a laugh it makes it smoother it's like smooth cue transition it's like a, that funny transition it's like when you edit a video and you have this awkward transition between one clip to the other uh, and you can use a filter to transition you know that it fades in fades out kind of thing versus the 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 weird like uh, transitions where they uh, what is it when they they, they flipper and stuff like I, I don't like that kind of stuff it's weird and awkward you know ending scene of a play you know rather than ending it abruptly you end it with a laugh. People, you know, when you when you listen when you watch a play, and like at the end of the scene, there's a there's a laughter for the audience. So, you know, when the audience laughs at something and they close the curtains, it's just a good ending to that whole thing, right? So, in the third, okay, I'm gonna move on to the next one now. The third one is using an exit line. You gotta be honest about the exit line. You know, you gotta be. You should be honest because what if you really did? You know, this is this is a good one, right? Basically, you say, well. So want to make sure everything's okay or is there anything else you needed and you or one thing i like to use is anyways i don't want to monopolize on your time i don't say monopolize but like i would say like anyways i i don't want to take up too much time so i gotta i'm gonna head out you know it's it's as simple as that 
you know, the exit line, the, the exit line that helps that transition be a little bit more smooth than just awkwardly not knowing where to end it, right? If there's a little pause in the conversation, just be like, all right, I'm going to get going. I'm going to do some work. I mean, it, it, maybe you don't need to do a ton of work. Maybe you're not super busy, but you're going to, you have an egg, you know, that exit that the, the reason as to why you're leaving the conversation, like a lot of times people, I would say things like, okay, I'm going to go get a drink or I'm going to use a restroom. That's a good one. I'm going to use a restroom, go to the restroom, uh, walk in, wash your hands and walk out realizing that, and then move on to the next conversation. I don't know. That's, I've done that before though. Don't tell anybody I said that. Four is, and lastly, is you'd introduce somebody else, especially if you're in a networking event or some kind of social gathering at a party, whatever. You feel the conversation kind of ending, dwindling down. You have somebody near you that you know. You'd be like, oh, hey, have you met, uh, have you met my cousin Jerry? This is Jerry. Uh, this is Jerry, Bob. Uh, you, might, you guys might like the, the uh, you know, uh, you guys are both into Star Wars. Yeah, he's a big fan of Star Wars. You start talking about Star Wars, you know? You know, the uh, Jar Jar Binks and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, don't. If you're going to introduce somebody else, make sure that they do have some kind of common interest or some, some kind of common ground on something, or else it's going to be real, real awkward. All right? Anyways, that's about it. Have a clear purpose. One, wait for a laugh. Two, use an exit line. Three, and four, introduce somebody, help, somebody else. And overall, I just I really hope this helps you guys. Um, I think that the best one out of all of this is to wait for a laugh, depending on what situation you're in. If you're at a water, if you're in a, if you're doing water cooler talk at work, waiting for a laugh is perfect. Um, trying to find something that would be kind of funny, sarcastic between you two that you guys you know, and then transition. Um, the easiest one, of course, is to use the exit line, especially at work. Um, but if you're at a social gathering and you keep talking to one person at a time, definitely use that exit line or use the the exit line of saying you need to use the restroom or get a drink, you know, or doing something else um, that you need to go do. Or I'm going to go just simply saying, oh, I'm going to go say hi to these other people real quick. That's easy enough too. Um, being silent with them is fine. You know, what else are you going to be doing? Um, if they're, if they're anyways, I don't want to get into like how to host and stuff. Cause if they're a good host, there'd be some more interaction between everybody. Um, or introducing somebody else. If you can do that without being too awkward, you know, about it. I really do hope these help. There's just four simple stuff. There's a lot of others you can do, but this is stuff that has actually, I put into practice and I keep needing to remind myself to do when I'm in a conversation and, um, that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, I love you guys. Um, take care. Please uh, be safe out there in the world of extroverts. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. We are what you make You can handle your own thoughts. But I know that you know that it's different.